back here again. You know what, though? I'm confident we'll win this time. Do you think we'll have enough evidence? Things only went that way last time because we were underprepared. I have my suspicions who really did it now. You mean cruise control, right? Yes, him. Why else would he attack me and steal my evidence? When I spoke with him last night, he didn't deny or admit that he killed Ace. But we know for a fact he was being blackmailed by Ace, and he was the anonymous tip of the night of the murder. Why would he report a crime he committed? That makes no sense. I really haven't figured that out yet. One thing really worries me, though. What would that be? That feather. They let Fluttershy go because it didn't belong to any of her animals. You're right. This trial could be over before it even begins. I gotta start off strong before the judge hands down the verdict. What you talking about? Stop, Stop doing, doing that! that! We were just talking about how you're on the edge of a knife right now. Huh? That move I made with the feather yesterday kept you in the safe zone. Therefore, the only thing that was keeping the judge from giving you a guilty verdict is now gone. Ah! Don't worry, though. Phoenix and I gathered a lot of evidence this time around. Yeah, I think I got your super awesome evidence you asked for. You did? That's great! I just can't let Trixie get the upper hand this time. And upper hoof. Speaking of Trixie, Phoenix, I didn't tell you about this yesterday. Perhaps you can tell me what it means. What happened? As you know, your Magatama's power somehow got transferred into me. Magma what? -a? Yeah, I don't know why it did that. I saw those locks a few times, but when they appeared around Trixie, they... Look, it's the Three Stooges, back for an encore. Great. Prosecutor Hammy has to give the complimentary pretrial trash talk. Trixie, how many times do I have to tell you? I don't want to argue with you. Funny, as that's what we're supposed to be doing when we go through those doors over there. I'm afraid not. What? Phoenix is going to be leading the defense, not me. What? But you said yesterday that- I changed my mind. I have faith Phoenix will win this trial and prove once and for all Rainbow Dash didn't kill any pony. Did I miss something here? Wasn't he my lawyer all along? This is supposed to be between you and me. Wrong. This is about clearing my friend's name. Why are you getting so angry anyway? I'm not angry! It doesn't make any difference anyway. I'm going to mop the floor with this stupid human like I did yesterday. And Rainbow Trash is going to be banished. Mark my words, Twilight. Bring it on, you wash-up! Shut your mouth! You don't even realize I could have had you packing your bags yesterday. You want to take this outside? Is this just a game to you, Trixie? You're treating an innocent life like a pawn to get back at Twilight. I don't know what went on between you two, but this isn't the way you deal with it. Don't you dare lecture me. You're going to see exactly why you should have just stayed in your stupid little world. Prepare to lose, Phoenix Wrong. Whew. She was furious. Hey, don't let her get you down. She's just mean-spirited. Yeah, Twilight, she's just an all-talk-no-show loudmouth. You're right. But as I was saying, when I spoke with her yesterday, those locks appeared and they were- Hello, every pony. Fluttershy, you came down, I see. <sighs> Rarity and Applejack are up in the gallery. I don't know where Pinkie Pie is, though. Probably late again. Pinkie Pie being Pinkie Pie. By the way, thanks again for saving me in the forest last night, Fluttershy. It's partly my fault, because I left you all alone. You wouldn't have done that if I had explained why I did that to Fluttershy yesterday. Again, I'm sorry I had to do that. It's okay. They let me go, right? Everything's fine now. They let me go! Everything's fine! me. <laughs> That's good for you. What about me? I... Do you realize what you've done, Fluttershy? What do you mean? My neck is still on the line because of how you stupidly testified against me. Why would you say you saw me there? I I'm so... I'm sorry. Is that what you're going to say? Well, sorry isn't going to cut it. I have a good chance of being banished all because of you. Friends don't do that to each other, Fluttershy. Here you come in all happy-go-lucky when I'm about to be put on trial for murder! You know, I was really hoping that feather matched one of your animals. You're the one who deserves to be banished after what you did to me yesterday! I hate you. 
You heard me. I hate you. I never want to see your face again. <laughs> Rainbow Dash. You're being way too hard on her. <sighs> she, she, forget her. The trial will begin in five minutes. The defense and its co-counsel should make their way inside the courtroom immediately. Phoenix, I know this is probably a bad move, but I have to go find Fluttershy. Do you think you can handle it on your own in here? As Rainbow's out-of-town attorney, I really wouldn't recommend you leaving me alone in there. But, as your friend, I understand. I'm confident I can hold the fort down until you get back. I did some studying last night and have a firmer grasp on how Equestria works now. Your owl will help me find all the resources I needed. Hope you don't mind I help myself to some of your books without asking. Best of luck. I know you can do it. I should be fine. Just go find your friend. I'll be back as soon as I find her. Rainbow Dash, we need to talk. What?! I really don't like what you said to Fluttershy, but we'll need to talk about that later. There's not much time left to dwell on that. That is IF there is a leader. Trust me, I'll win. I'm going to keep that whole issue with the blackmail as my trump card, though. I know how much you don't want that getting out. So I'll try my best not to use it unless it's absolutely necessary. Thank you. It's in my best interest, too. Otherwise, Sonata will have me arrested. But what I want in return is for you to keep that attitude of yours under control in there. I know it's hard, but just ignore what Trixie says. This is my last chance to get you exonerated, and we're going to be off to a rocky start at the get-go. So please behave yourself. Just sit in the chair and don't say a word, and I'll work my magic. Okay, I won't say a word. Good. I'm going to do my best to get you acquitted. Okay. I have my suspicion who's behind this all. I just have to prove how he did it. Looking at the evidence, though, nothing links him to the murder that night. Why would he attack me for evidence? How did he phone me? I have all the pieces to the puzzle. I just need to fit them in the right places. Court will now reconvene from yesterday's suspension. Was the prosecution able to confirm where the feather came from? Where's Twilight, Mr. Wrong? Did she run off again when she realized letting you defend again was a grave mistake? No, she has faith in me to let me do this on my own. Oh, so you'd rather she didn't even see your disgraceful attempt at defense? I believe your honor asked a question. Can you please answer it? Oh, <clears throat> uh, yes, uh, Miss Trixie. Any personal conversation with Mr. Wright can wait. But please tell the court the results of the feather that was presented by the defense yesterday. <laughs> You're asking for it. The search was in vain, the stupid feather didn't match any of the animals at the cottage, and Mr. Wrong was wrong, as usual. That is unfortunate. No, it's not. Now we can end this trial in record time. Where were we before he stupidly presented that feather? Oh yes, you were handing down Rainbow Trash's verdict. Oh, that's right. I believe that would be the route we should take. Not so fast. Being a little vague about that stupid feather, don't you think, Trixie? What else do you want the great and powerful Trixie to say, Mr. Rong? It didn't match any of the animals. So where did it come from? You really want to know? It will crush what little hope you have in this trial if Trixie does disclose where this feather came from. Tell me! Very well, Mr. Wrong. Remember, you were the one who asked for this. Our prestigious scientific research team was about to come down to help us analyze the feather. They would tell us the exact species this feather came from. But what did they tell you? We didn't need them. What? The owner of this feather came and told us. OBJECTION! But that's impossible! The feather was too big to belong to a pony or anything in Ponyville! You'll see soon enough how possible it is, Mr. Wrong. Because on top of all that, the bearer of this feather witnessed the crime in all the gory details. They're a witness? I wasn't expecting this. 
They came to Fluttershy's cottage yesterday and admitted they saw rainbow trash kill the victim. But this goes against everything we know. All will be revealed to you, Mr. Wrong. Shall Trixie bring out her witness, Your Honor? Yes, uh, the suspense is killing, to put it bluntly. You've sealed your fate, Mr. Wrong. Ugh, what's that smell? Witness, name please. Gilda. Hmm, that's, that's a, a griffin. griffin. They normally reside in the Griffin Kingdom. Huh? Uh, what's she doing? Oh, right, I told her to be quiet. She took it way too literally. I just didn't want her making a scene, not stay completely silent. Witness, is it true you saw Rainbow Trash commit the act of murder three nights ago? <laughs> Rainbow Trash? Good one. I prefer Lamebow Dash, though. My, my. You certainly have a way with words, Witness. They almost rival that of Trixie's. But is it true you saw her kill another pony in the Everfree Forest? Yep, it's true. I never thought Dash had it in her, killing a pony in cold blood like that. So you witnessed the moment the defendant killed the victim? Ugh, yes! How many times do I have to say it? I saw Rainbow Dash kill that pony! But that's impossible! Are you calling me a liar, you pointy-headed cretin? Uh, no, I just, uh... This would be the part where I shift blame on her. But Griffins can't set off clouds or move them. And Rainbow Dash already admitted to me she set it off anyway. Can you please testify to the court as to what you witnessed that night? Testify? But I, uh... Not a problem. Witness? That nice testimony Trixie prepared for you? Ugh. Okay. Here goes. I'll tell you all why that pony sitting over there is a murderer beyond a doubt. I have a bad feeling about this. Rainbow Dash killed that other pony with a storm cloud. I was there. Um... See? This proves Rainbow Trash did it. Th that was no testimony! That was only one statement! I have to agree with the defense here. That was too short to be considered a testimony. Let Trixie explain, Your Honor. This was one of the conditions Trixie had to uphold. What conditions? When Gilda came and admitted she witnessed the crime, she said she was really busy and didn't want to testify. This is why she hasn't reported this sooner. But her good conscience finally came to, and she admitted to seeing the crime. She deserves a medal for doing the right thing. <laughs> yeah, I do deserve a medal, don't I? You're sure modest. Even right now, she's really constrained on time. Trixie prepared a testimony that will have her in and out of her in no time. What can I say? I'm a really busy griffin. Speaking of which, Mr. Wrong. What? You're only allowed three lines of questioning during the cross-examination, and they must relate to the statement she is testifying with. What? You can't just make rules like that! He's correct, Miss Trixie. I believe it's my job to make decisions like that. But understand, Your Honor, this witness has a really important job. Mr. Wrong's endless badgering would have you in here all day, for no reason other than for him to selfishly stall. What is her job, anyway? I noticed you didn't ask for her occupation. She wants it to be kept confidential. Not only her, but her employer as well. It doesn't have anything to do with this anyway, but it is an important job, Your Honor. I have a good idea what it is. I guess I wouldn't want to hold up her job for no reason, if it's as imperative as you make it out to be. Very well, Mr. Wright. Only three lines of questioning. Then we will decide if we need to keep this witness any longer. Ha. Huh. Thank you for understanding, Your Honor. No! I can't believe she got away with that! She's just trying to make it as shallow as possible so I can't get any information out of her. All right, Mr. Wright. The stage is yours. <sighs> it's all right. 
Three questions is all I need. I wasn't expecting this, but just gotta roll with the punches, I guess. Rainbow Dash killed that other pony with a storm cloud. I was there. Let's start this off with the first question. What were you doing there? Objection! This question has been asked and answered, Your Honor. We already know what Gilda was doing there. She was observing the crime. Exactly! Mm. Good job. You wasted a question, Mr. Wrong. You're making Trixie's glorious triumph come all that much sooner. Wait, that doesn't... Next question! Rainbow Dash killed that other pony with a storm cloud. I was there. For my second question, what did you witness while you were there? I was flying over that forest when I saw Dash speaking with another pony. But I didn't get a good look at him while I was flying since I was up so high. I could tell he was male though because of his size compared to her. The defendant was speaking with the victim? What does this mean? The blackmail negotiations, no doubt. How are you able to see them? You may not know, but we've had numerous testimonies stating that the forest is pitch black at night. I can see in the dark, idiot. Yeah, you idiot. Every pony knows griffins can see in the dark. You're so stupid! Oh, great. It's like Trixie and Stereo. So you saw them speaking with each other? Yeah, I didn't listen to what they were talking about. Why did you hide? Because they seemed shady and ominous. I knew they were up to no good. You do know spying on others is considered up to no good, right? Did they say anything of interest? The male pony said something about negotiations and Dash declined. Then she flew up and hit a storm cloud. He screamed like a pansy and the lightning bolt fried him. But that can't be true. Rainbow Dash said it didn't come close to him. Gilda has to be lying. But how do I prove it? I only have one question left. You see, Mr. Wrong, your endless pressing isn't going to save you here. Rainbow Dash killed that other pony with a storm cloud. I was there. <laughs> Gotta make this one count. For my final question, where were you? What kind of question is that? I was in the forest! No, when you were hiding, listening to those two talking, where did you hide? Ugh, d d give me a map or something, I'll show you! Bailiff, please give the witness the diagram of the crime scene. If you really want to know, I was right here in this tree. That's the same tree we found the feather in. You're admitting this feather belongs to you? Uh, yeah, that's mine. It must have fallen out while I was watching. Questioning is now over. You may go about your business now, Gilda. It would seem that way. There are no problems with the witness's rather short testimony. You are excused. Your friendly neighborhood Gilda just doing her duty as a good citizen of Equestria. Later. OBJECTION! Sorry, but there is a problem. A very big one considering how small that testimony was. Huh? The great and powerful Trixie does not see such problems in that testimony. Uh, Mr. Wright, can you please tell us what this problem is? Certainly. You see, Gilda says she sat in this tree and saw the crime take place. And what's the matter with that? Take a look a little left to where you claim you were hiding. Uh, hey, w what's that circle there for? Oh, that's just where the third bolt of lightning hit a little past 11 o'clock. What's your point? I wasn't even there when that happened. Why did you not tell me about where you were hiding? What does it matter? I saw the whole murder with my own two eyes! See? Right there. That's the lie. What? Lie? When that third lightning bolt hit, it took down a tree in the spot in this diagram. If you were really sitting in this tree, the tree that was struck would have been still up, obstructing your line of sight. I don't care if you can see in the dark. My question is, how were you able to see through solid mass? Ah! Objection! She must be mistaken about the tree she was in. Objection! No, 
Her feather was in the tree she pointed out. She must have been in that tree. I... So what do you make of this, Mr. Wright? In my opinion, I think she did indeed witness the crime. But she didn't actually see it. She just heard it. Objection! That doesn't change anything at all. We still have a body and we still have a suspect. Whether she heard or saw it doesn't make any difference. Objection! If I got a dime for every time I heard that one. This changes a lot. First off, how does she know he was fried as she claimed if she didn't see him? I... I... I want to go now. I don't want to waste my valuable time in here anymore. You're not going anywhere. You've lied to this court, and you're required to stay and clear any suspicions regarding yourself. And you're looking mighty suspicious right about now. Says who? I'm sure those nice-looking guards over there will happily escort you to detention for questioning if you truly want to leave now. Ugh. Witness, just ignore his empty threats. If you'd have told Trixie about where you were hiding, Trixie could have had you out of here faster. Now you will have to be forced to tolerate one of Mr. Rong's endless questioning sessions. I'd like to know what you did after the murder. I know she has something more to do with this, and I'm gonna find out. Fine! You have no idea how much I want to beat the living snout out of that blue little worm right now! Gulp. After the lightning came down, Dash blew off. I immediately gave chase after the perpetrator. I was on my way to Ponyville anyway. But I lost sight of Dash, so I gave up chasing her. I did my business in Ponyville and went back to the Griffin Kingdom. There! Can I go now? Uh, I'm afraid Mr. Wright has the right to cross-examine you. Make it snappy! I'm on a tight schedule, pal! This one is just too easy. I can see even Trixie notices it. Let the cross-examination begin! After the lightning came down, Dash blew off. I immediately gave chase after the perpetrator. I was on my way to Ponyville anyway. But I lost sight of Dash, so I gave up chasing her. I did my business in Ponyville and went back to the Griffin Kingdom. OBJECTION! Thought you may have learned the first time. Ah, oh, screw you, you scrawny little! Even the prosecution doesn't seem too happy with you right now. Mr. Wrong is right. You're making me look bad. I didn't even need to question you on anything. The contradiction's right in plain sight. Wh what are you talking about? If you'd have been following Rainbow Dash into Ponyville, a certain individual would have seen you. In a testimony we had yesterday, this pony, Fluttershy, whose cottage is by the edge of the forest in question, stated she saw Rainbow Dash fleeing the forest. Problem is, she didn't mention anything about you. Kind of odd when you claim you were in hot pursuit of Rainbow Dash. Or the easier conclusion we can draw is that you never left the forest. <coughs> Finally, I'm winning the battle. Trixie's third person has nothing on my first person. Or not. Jumping the gun, aren't you, Mr. Wrong? Whatever do you mean, Trixie? You're basing this contradiction off a witness who was accused yesterday. But she was proven innocent. Oh, that's not what Trixie is arguing, Mr. Wrong. But that same witness did not see Apple Bloom leave the forest that night either, when we all know that Philly did get home safely. <sighs> She's right. The prosecution has a point here. While that witness may have been innocent, her testimony had a gigantic hole in it. Naturally, we can't accuse Gilda here based on that testimony. Yeah, that pony is the liar, not me! I have to prove she didn't leave that forest. We can't just dismiss this. She had to have stayed in there. Evidence speaks louder than words, Mr. Wrong. If you really think she didn't leave, prove it instead of stumbling and stammering. Uh, Mr. Wright, do you have any other evidence supporting Miss Gilda didn't leave the forest? Think, think, think. Wait a minute. Of course! I think now is a better time than any to reveal Gilda's occupation. I have proof this witness did not leave that forest, Your Honor. Honestly, how could you prove something like that? With this! A paper? Really? That's all you got? 
What is this, Mr. Wright? It's Ponyville's delivery schedule. And what exactly does that prove, Mr. Wrong? Right here in black and white. It clearly states Griffin Express was to deliver a package to Ponyville the night of the incident, at 10 p.m. Ooh! So this witness is a mail courier? Exactly! I have reason to believe this witness lost her delivery in the forest. As that was where this bag was found, which I believe is the undelivered package. Hold on! You got no proof that's my bag or it was even me delivering a package! That's right. If that schedule said Pony Express, would that mean Trixie was delivering mail? Then tell me, why were you going to Ponyville? I just wanted to catch up with a friend, that's all. You see, you're wrong, wrong. There are many pages to a chapter. Let me finish. We could just ask the Griffin Express who was delivering the package that night, but that really won't be necessary. Not necessary? Because that's where my second piece of evidence comes in. This invoice! Wow! That's mighty expensive for a bottle of perfume! It's imported from across the Equestrian Sea, Your Honor. It's very exclusive, and that's why it demands such a high price. Tell us, Mr. Rong, what does perfume have to do with any of this? Twilight Sparkle found this perfume yesterday. Can you guess where? <laughs> in that very same bag in the forest. This perfume never arrived yesterday, so we can conclude this bag was the same undelivered package. The bag Gilda lost. Ha! Huh. You still didn't prove a thing. The bag with the perfume was found in the forest, yes. But the schedule still only states it was the Griffin Express delivering the perfume, not Gilda. Like she said, she isn't the only Griffin shipping item. I intend on proving that right now. This perfume has a certain property. The fragrance is long-lasting, and I think someone decided to help themselves to a free sample. Does anyone else smell that odor right now lingering in the courtroom? Yeah, I have for quite some time. I didn't want to be rude, but I thought you forgot to put on deodorant, Mr. Wright. <sighs> it's not me. It's coming off another individual. Yes. That rancid stench is coming off our Weasley witness. Mr. Wright, are you saying this witness has bad hygiene? No, Your Honor. I'm saying she's a thief. Take a whiff of the perfume in question. Hmm. Oh, it smells like erotic scum wasted in expired milk. Now take another smell of the aroma coming off our witness here. Oh, my word. The same. <laughs> this witness committed perjury. She was the one delivering that package. She used some of the perfume on herself. Little did she know it was long-lasting, and it would tag her to that bag. Witness, tell them. <sighs> tell them what? Tell them why you never left the forest. But it's confidential. You're in boiling water right now, witness. But if you tell Mr. Totally Indefinitely Dead Wrong why you stayed in that forest in the first place, he'll have nothing against you. Miss Trixie, you knew she stayed in the forest? Yes, I did. Objection! Your Honor, the prosecution was knowingly withholding vital information from the court. I demand she be held in contempt. Objection! You're actually resorting to that? You must be desperate. It's not even my fault. Those mangy griffins are the ones to blame. Mangy? They told me to keep her occupation and her screw-up purely confidential if she was to testify. I was only trying to abide by that. I would have shared this information right off the bat if it wasn't for them. You still concealed important information. I'll let you off with a warning. But no more concealing information, otherwise I will hold you in contempt of court! Mm. Understood. Whoa, that's a change. The judge threatening someone who isn't me. As you can see, Trixie isn't too happy with you or the Griffin Express right now. To make up for that, Trixie very much wants to watch Mr. Wrong's pathetic arguments flounder. So tell them why you stayed in the forest that night, witness. Huh. Now that you say it like that, it'd be my pleasure telling you why I was there.
I'll get in trouble back at HQ, but it's well worth it to make Hedgehog head over there shut up. Tell us then, what were you doing in that forest, and why didn't you leave? You're right. I'm a courier for the Griffin Express. That night I'd been coming in from the west into Ponyville, as I'd just delivered some items to Hoovington. That's when I, <clears throat> heard the murder. I dropped the perfume while I was chasing after Dash and couldn't find it afterwards. We couldn't afford to tell anyone I lost it. No one was supposed to know about this, since the Griffin Express is supposed to be reliable. Sounds pretty unreliable, at least when you're concerned. <laughs> Mr. Wright, show some backbone. Why did you use the perfume on yourself, witness? I just put on one spray. I didn't think anyone would mind. Uh, howdy. Back, Mr. Wrong? Yeah, sorry. Uh, my shoes were untied. Your shoes are slip-ons. Uh, this witness was caught red-handed stealing. This is a trial for murder, not thievery. Trixie thinks the explanation she gave clears up why she lied. I do too. Now can I go? Can't I just retract everything I've said so far? I thought this would be quick. Ugh, we can't let her go. She has something to do with this. Now I see what you mean, Trixie. This guy just doesn't know when to give up. And I see you don't know when to stop lying. You want to start something, dweeb? These talons are just for show, you know! Uh, n no, I, uh... The only thing you have on her is she didn't see the murder. Which doesn't even matter in the long run. She didn't see the lightning bolt hit him. But anyone who sees a lightning bolt and hears a scream, like she says, can draw the same conclusion on what happened. That Rainbow Dash killed that other Pegasus with that cloud! Mm. Oops. You did it again, Gilda. Huh? I'm doing my best to bail you out, but you keep making things worse. What did I do? Let me fill you in, Gilda. How did you know the victim was a Pegasus? Because I... <sighs> His name hasn't even been uttered to you yet. Nor is the type of pony he was. You even said you didn't get a good look at him when you saw my client chatting with him in the forest. Before you said you were behind that tree we know you couldn't see through. Then immediately afterwards you said you chased Rainbow Dash. So, Gilda, how did you know he was a Pegasus? I... uh... Tell us now! I can't believe you lied again after I got that warning! You're even turning on me? What a typical lame pony! Lame pony? I'm not the one letting Ace Idiot get the best of me. That brings me to you, Blueberry! You better watch your back in a dark alley, cause you're officially making me angry now! I'm not afraid of you. I think it's quite the opposite, actually. I think you're the one who's afraid of me. <sighs> I actually share sentiments with the prosecution. I don't like your type. The ones who fib and lie to save their own hide. Don't you dare compare yourself to the great and powerful Trixie, Mr. Rong. That's like comparing an ant to a boot. A three-way tussle between the defense, prosecution, and witness? My, how exciting! Uh, I mean, order! We are straying way off topic. Witness, you've committed perjury on several occasions now. While you may have tried to justify it, lying is still lying. So what? I'll give you one last chance to testify. If you are caught lying again, you will be discredited as a witness and taken away by the authorities for further questioning. N no It's not so hard, Gilda. Just tell the truth. Oh, you are dead meat! Leave him alone! You're the one who's dead meat if you lie again! How cute. She's sticking up for me. Besides, Mr. Wrong is Trixie's. He shall feel the great and powerful Trixie's wrath before this trial is over. Or not. Witness, please testify how you knew the victim was a Pegasus. And please, the truth this time. Ugh, I don't believe this. Just have to break one last testimony, and I can discredit every lie she said about Rainbow Dash. I dropped my bag while chasing after Dash. The bag was more important, so I searched for it for about five to ten minutes or so, and I forgot. 
the, the point is, I, I couldn't find it, so I gave up. Since I had nothing to deliver anymore, I flew back the way I came from and observed the clearing again. I saw that Pegasus laying there dead under the cloud, and... Well, that's how I knew he was a Pegasus, and, and that's how I knew he was hit by the lightning! If this is true, this clears up everything she has said. The reason I didn't say any of this from the start is because I couldn't tell anyone I lost the package. It would ruin the Gryphon Express's image. No, you lied from the start because you want to frame Rainbow Dash. Phoenix! Oh, you're back, Twilight. Did you find Fluttershy? No, I couldn't find her anywhere. Don't worry, we'll look for her together after the trial's over. How are you holding up, anyway? Not too shabby. Especially when I have witnesses like this one. She's been lying through her teeth. Or beak, should I say. Huh? Phoenix! There's something you should really know about that griffin. Don't worry, I know. She has something against Rainbow Dash, doesn't she? Long story short, yes. This is her last testimony anyway, and she's in a tangled web of lies right now. She won't get away with it. I dropped my bag while chasing after Dash. How did you lose your bag? Dash was going too fast. I got careless trying to keep up with her and I dropped it. In other words, you were too slow. Ugh, hey! Shut up! I'm not slow! You clearly were if you couldn't keep up. I said stop calling me slow! Stop taunting the slowpoke and get back on topic. I'm not a slowpoke! I agree with the prosecution. The fact that the witness is as slow as ketchup coming out of a glass bottle isn't a concern to the court. The bag was more important, so I searched for it for about five to ten minutes or so, and I forget. The, the point is, I, I couldn't find it, so I gave up. Hold it! You searched five to ten minutes? If it was so important, why didn't you search longer? I got bored. You got bored? Didn't want to waste my time looking around a musky old forest. I found that bag in the bush. It wasn't in plain sight, but if you were really certain, you could have found it easily. Well, I, I didn't think of looking there, okay? You must be pretty... <laughs> slow then. Shut up, shut up, shut up! Objection! Stop provoking her and start cross-examining her. Phoenix, what are you doing? It seems like you're taking a page out of Trixie's book, putting down Gilda like that. It's actually a little trick I learned at law school. Ever hear the expression, anger makes you stupid? Oh, I read something about that. When we're angry or frustrated, the brain downshifts to a lower IQ. Exactly. This may cause our friend Gilda here to say the wrong thing if you catch my drift. Hear you loud and clear. I had nothing to deliver anymore, I flew back the way I came from and observed the clearing again. Hold it! Why did you go back the way you came? I didn't want any ponies in Ponyville seeing me. Because you lost the package? Yes! Because I lost the stupid package! Sue me! Oh, how I'd love to do that. I took a scenic route back to the Gryphon Kingdom. Unlike ponies, we Gryphons have the energy to fly for longer periods of time. And we don't have to risk taking breaks in the forest where you can get mauled to death by wild animals. <sighs> Bringing bad memories from yesterday. And that's when you saw the victim. I was getting to that! I saw that Pegasus laying there dead under the cloud, and. Well, that's how I knew he was a Pegasus. And, and that's how I knew he was hit by the lightning! Hold it! You were able to identify the victim? I went down to make sure the pony was dead. And... Uh... Was he? Yeah, and he smelled burnt. No doubt from that lightning dash set down on him. <sighs> Everything in this testimony seems to be in order. I could tell this griffin is guilty of something besides the missing package, but what? Hey, I just thought of something. What is it? You and I saw the crime scene. Why don't you try asking Gilda something about it and see if it matches up? Hey, good idea. Gilda! 
You know, slamming on that desk isn't intimidating in the slightest. Didn't they teach you that in lawyer school? No, that's right, you probably didn't go. Bear with me. It's sort of my thing. <clears throat> Gilda, did you notice anything else about the crime scene while you were investigating the body? No. Come on! You had to have noticed something! You could see in the freaking dark! Ugh, what's your deal anyway? Look, I didn't see anything besides a stupid piece of trash! Kinda reminds me of someone when I think back to it! Are you referring to the victim as a piece of trash? Not him, you dweeb! Just some garbage laying on the ground! <sighs> Where's Francis get her whip when you need them? Your Honor. Can you have the witness amend this information about the garbage to her testimony? Only you would pursue garbage, Mr. Ron. I don't really see the point, but I'd like to see where this goes. Miss Gilda, please add this information about the garbage to your testimony. There was an ugly piece of trash laying on the crime scene. Oh! I'm very interested as to what this trash you saw was. It was trash. What more is there to say? Can you give me a better description? Oh, why do I have to do this again? It was just garbage. I barely paid any attention to it. I'm sure there's a trash can somewhere in this courtroom if you want to take a better look at what garbage looks like. Tell me what it looked like. Fine! If it makes you happy, it was some sort of stick. A stick? Like I said, I didn't pay much attention to it. I was more focused on the dead Pegasus in front of me! What did this stick look like? For the millionth time! I didn't care about it! I hardly remember what it looks like! You're lucky I remembered it looks like a stick! If you were to show it to me, I'd be able to identify it for you, but other than that, I don't know what you want from me! Is this stick she saw important? I don't know. Ah! Oh boy, a Mr. Wrong Objection time. Gilda. What do you want now? You say you'd be able to identify the stick if I were to show it to you. Yeah, and? Is this the stick you're talking about? Uh, hey, yeah, th th that's it, that's the one. I, I remember that letter P on top of it. Hmm. Now that I look at it again, this stick really annoys me for some reason. This is it, huh? Well then, you've once again lied to us all, Gilda. What? But I didn't... This stick wasn't found on the scene of the crime. And according to what you've told us, you were the last one in that clearing. So that means you must have moved it and threw it into the lake where it was found. Objection! We need some proof that stick you possessed was really on the scene. Agree. I do have some evidence this stick was really at the crime scene at some point. Let's take a look at the scene of the crime. In this area, with the dirt, there was a long imprint suggesting something lay there. I even took some pictures of it the other night. If we were to measure the length and width of the imprint, I'm willing to bet it'll match up with the stick. We'll just see about that. The investigation team measured that imprint in the ground. And how long was it? 30 inches. Now let's measure the stick. Bailiff, can you please measure the length of this stick? The length of the stick is... 30 inches. No! This can't be! Why would you move the stick, Gilda? I didn't touch it! Witness, I can't stand you any longer. You were warned and you lied again. But I didn't touch that damn stick! Hey! Don't look at me! She's the one who said it! It's quite evident you did touch it. You were the last one there. Oh, I'm not lying! Why would I want to move a stupid piece of trash? I swear it was laying right next to the dead Pegasus! I didn't touch it! <laughs> Stupid pony! I should have never let you talk me into coming here! Oh yeah? 
Well, I should have never brought in some mixed-up freak of nature griffin to come testify. You've caused me nothing but grief. You know what? I actually believe you, Gilda. Oh, finally! I guess you aren't as dumb as I thought. Still pretty dumb, though. It was really laying next to the victim. Yeah, just like Blue Boy says, it was laying right there next to the Pegasus. I didn't touch it. Take that, Trixie! That's it. You're on your own. But I have one little question, Gilda. Huh? Yeah? Well, spit it out. You just said it was laying next to the victim. Let's look back to this diagram of the forest. We have evidence the stick was on the scene of the crime, right here in this dirt landscape. But, Gilda, the body was found right here, under the cloud. You even said it was in that testimony you gave earlier. <laughs> That's right. The stick and body should be a distance apart from each other. I... What's your explanation for this? Let's hear it, Gilda. It's impossible for you to have seen the stick next to the body. I... Oh, I, uh... Trixie, help! Oh, what's that? You need help from the stupid pony? Too bad. You dug your own grave. It was my mistake. It wasn't next to the body. It was far away. Don't even try to backpedal. I know what you did. You know what she did? <laughs> Something I couldn't put my finger on when I first saw it. The disturbance in the dirt next to the imprint of the stick. Oh! There were some unnatural marks in the dirt. Someone had obviously kicked around. And now I know who did it and why. It was you, Gilda. But why would she kick around dirt? Isn't it obvious? I believe you didn't touch the stick, Gilda. But you touched something else, didn't you? No! What else on the crime scene did she touch? The answer's right here, Your Honor. You moved the body from the dirt patch to under the cloud, didn't you, Gilda? But then you noticed something. Being able to see in the dark, you saw the body left an imprint in the dirt, just like the stick did. And that compromised your nasty little plot to set up Rainbow Dash. No, I... So you removed traces of the body laying there. He's wrong! Right, every pony? He's, he's wrong! I didn't do that! Why would you do this to me, Gilda? Ah, Rainbow, Ixnay on the outburst, May. This witness may not be a murderer. But she still attempted to frame my client. This is low even for you! You put my life on the line just because I ditched you? Trixie sees it was a big mistake bringing you here. Witness, do you have anything to say in your defense to all these accusations? I give up. I did it. Don't even try to deny it! You... Wait, what? I moved the body. I knew it. You're confessing? When my delivery schedule said I had to go to Ponyville, I really did want to go there and catch up with a friend like I said earlier. But I was still very reluctant. It's... it's really hard for someone like me to apologize. After I listened in on that incident in the forest, I tried to fly to Dash and ask her what that whole thing was about, but... but I dropped my bag. When I went back to the scene after losing my delivery, I saw that pony laying there in the dirt. I was just gonna ignore the whole thing and, and leave it be, but, but... But then memories of what Rainbow Dash did to me started surfacing. It made me angry and I... But I, I wanted her to pay for rejecting me! Come on! Framing her for murder? That's clearly overreacting. You're right. It is. I overreacted. I thought revenge would make me feel better. I remembered she chose those stupid ponies over me. I'd show her what it felt like when your best friend turns on you! All this time I was waiting for that sweet feeling of payback. But it just never came. Revenge is never the answer. <laughs> you may think I'm just confessing because you caught me, but... It's kind of a relief. I, I just can't do this anymore. 
Gilda! Maybe the real reason I got angry... ...was because I missed my irreplaceable friend. And I'm doing a pretty crappy job getting her back. I'm sorry I lied. I moved the body. Rainbow Dash didn't kill anyone. The fact that the body was so far away from the cloud proves that! And you can confirm you were the last one on the scene of the crime? You didn't see anyone else there? I'm sure I was the last one there. At least, I didn't see anyone as I left. That's strange. How did the stick get in the water under that bridge if Gilda didn't move it? It seems this was all just a misunderstanding. The defendant couldn't have killed the victim as he had died in a completely different spot. We can probably come to the conclusion, if the first bolt didn't kill him, it had to have been the second one. Despite the lightning-proof suit, a fluke bolt must have hit him on one of the exposed spots. That's probably what happened, even though I didn't hear a second one. But that's the only explanation. A another bolt must have done him in. But witness, you committed perjury, mail fraud, and you tampered with the crime scene. All of which are crimes in themselves. I know. She told the truth, though. He'll go easy on her, right? Don't worry about it, Dash. No wimpy little cell can handle me. How long will she be in there? My guess is a few weeks. Maybe even months. I can't really give you a straight answer. Good luck, Dash. I know you'll kick some serious butt in that race you're in. I'll visit you and tell you how it goes. I'd like that. There is one more thing I really gotta say, Your Honor, if I'm allowed. <laughs> yes, witness. You may. Thank you. You better not get in my line of sight when I get out, Blue Boy! I'll tear you into smithereens! I'll tear your smithereens into smithereens for doing this to me! You got that?! That certainly killed the sad atmosphere. <clears throat> there are a few unanswered questions, but I think I can give my verdict now. The first bolt of lightning could not have killed A. Swift. Gilda's confession confirms this. You did it! We won! All's well that ends well, I guess. This court finds the defendant, Rainbow Dash, not- OBJECTION! Forgot about Trixie, I see. Uh, Miss Trixie, what's the matter? It's just you were about to make a fatal mistake there, Your Honor. Rainbow Trash did kill Ace. OBJECTION! We just had a confession that says otherwise, Trixie. Yeah, he was in the dirt far away from and nowhere near the cloud. I have to agree with the defense here, Miss Trixie. You based all your claims on the first bolt of lightning striking the victim. In which case it didn't. It was the second one which Rainbow Dash had no control over. It's so rich, sitting here watching you under the delusion you won. Watch as Trixie stamps your precious little turnabout into dust and tosses it to the wind. Let's chat about this second bolt. Like Trixie stated yesterday, she had a talk with the weather managers in Cloudsdale about the ballistics. Remember it not making a sound? Yeah. Well, that was because it could have been an anomaly known as a dud bolt. A dud bolt is the result of a lightning bolt not leaving the cloud and striking inside the cloud where it doesn't make a sound. Lightning makes sound based off of vibration from what it hits. A fluffy cloud won't make any noise at all. That's the only explanation that Trixie's witnesses didn't see or hear it. But then how did he die? The first bolt didn't kill him and you're saying the second one was a dud. Yeah, Trixie. It's either one or the other and everything points to it being the second bolt. Oh, spare the great and powerful Trixie. It's quite simple what happened. You see, when Rainbow Trash nailed him with the first bolt, the impact must have sent him flying a few feet. Ugh. But you don't have... Proof? Trixie doesn't need any proof. Trixie asks this court, what makes more sense? A lightning bolt sending a pony flying a few feet due to impact or a bolt that wasn't heard by three witnesses striking him dead. I believe it would be the former. 
There also weren't any burn scars, indicating lightning touched down on that dirt nap of his. Even the griffin wouldn't have been able to hide something like that by just scuffling dirt around. N no I can't lose this! There's another problem. How would Rainbow Dash have been able to aim the bolt at one of the exposed spots on the suit? It was dark, remember? Ha! Trixie knew you might try going for that one. And it's your job as the prosecution to explain it. With the new information Gilda gave us, Rainbow Trash spoke with the victim for a period of time. That doesn't answer my question. Did you forget, Mr. Wrong? Rainbow Trash was participating in the race as well. She has one of those suits, too. There are absolutely no cosmetic differences between the male and female designs beside the size. She should know exactly where the exposed parts are, judging by where he was standing when she spoke with him. You see, it still made no difference. Game, set, and match, Mr. Wrong. I... what if... You're right! It really hasn't changed anything in the long run. Miss Trixie's theory of the lightning bolt's impact sending him a few feet seems to make sense. Of course it does, because that's what happened. No more delays. Please give the correct verdict now, Your Honor. <sighs> ah, I got, I got it. it. Wait, I know of another suspect. Objection! No, not this time. Trixie is not going to let you blindly accuse again. Trixie has had her fun. Now, Your Honor, if you please. Your accusation last time proved to be fruitless. I can't let you accuse anyone else without solid evidence. But I do have solid evidence. The Pegasus Cruise Control. He attacked me yesterday and tried to steal my evidence. Him? Sorry, but you can't pull him in here for several reasons. One. So what if he attacked you for your evidence? He's been arrested for it, and you got all your worthless evidence back. It has nothing to do with this crime. Two. He's refusing to speak. He hasn't said a word to any pony since his conviction. But he spoke to me. Says you, Twilight. He's being absolutely uncooperative with all the police, and due to those circumstances, he can't be pulled into this courtroom. And three. Cruise Control could not have done it. How do you know that? Because he was the anonymous tip Trixie spoke of yesterday. He still could have done it. He's a Pegasus. He could have flown to the forest after the police didn't take his tip seriously. Not only is that stupid, why would he report a murder he was going to commit? It's impossible as well, because he has a rock-solid alibi. And what's that? Because between 8.30 and 9 that night, he was reporting the crime. What? The police station is a good ten minutes away from the forest. By the time Mr. Cruz would have arrived there, the victim would be long dead. This can't be! I thought he reported it before the crime! He did, but he stuck around the station until 9 o'clock ranting and raving. Many of the police on duty can testify to this. But he had to have done it. Care to show some proof? Because Trixie knows for a fact you don't have a thing that can place him on the scene of the crime. What about the stick? What about it? How did it get into the lake? Gilda was the last one on the crime scene. And it was impossible for her to come into Ponyville without being seen by Fluttershy. Are you suggesting it grew legs and dropped itself in the lake? Not this again. Fluttershy had a contradiction in her testimony that you found. For all we know, Gilda could have dumped the stick in the lake after moving the body. But why would she do that? She just confessed to moving the body. Why would she not confess to that as well? It's just a piece of rubbish. Who cares? The last time Trixie checked, that stick isn't a murder weapon. But there's a possibility someone else was on the crime scene. You just confirmed with Gilda she was the last one there. She said she didn't see anyone else. Don't flip-flop, Mr. Wrong. <sighs> it's over. You have nothing left. Trixie wins. I... I haven't got anything. She just keeps refuting all my firepower. No, Phoenix, you have to try. You said Rainbow Dash wasn't responsible for this. I know, Twilight. But Trixie's right. I haven't got anything to link cruise control or anyone to that forest that night. What about the blackmailing? We still have that. Even if I bring up the blackmailing, it still won't prove a thing. It'll just prove Ace was blackmailing her, nothing more. And if I even mention blackmail, Sonata will have me arrested on the spot. 
I'm sorry, Twilight. I couldn't help your friend. It's completely out of my hands. Phoenix. Order in the court! I've heard enough. Miss Trixie has once again supplied enough evidence to prove her case. Your Honor, the verdict, now. Trixie is starting to grow quite weary of Mr. Wrong's futile attempts to prolong the inevitable. Yes, I believe the time has come. So how much does it sting, Twilight? Knowing you're going to lose one of your friends and being powerless to stop it? Oh, I know. How about you use your friendship to save Rainbow Trash? That'll work. Magic of friendship. Give me a break. There's no magic in it. It's completely unnecessary. Just a word. That's what it is. You'll know all too well when you lose one of your friends in a few seconds. Please, Phoenix, get up. He's going to give Rainbow Dash a guilty verdict. With the evidence supplied by the prosecution... I, I didn't do it. <laughs> this court finds the defendant, Rainbow Dash. We lost. Was there ever any doubt? Court is now adjourned. I object! Oh, it, it, you know, it, it's alright. Fluttershy? What is the meaning of this? Mr. Honor, I just remembered something important about that night when I was watching the forest. May I do one of those testify things again? Objection! No, you can't. This witness has already testified and the verdict has already been handed down. There's no reason for us to even be here anymore. She wants to testify again? I can't let this opportunity slip by. Your Honor, let her testify. Mr. Wright, I'm sorry, but the prosecution is correct. My verdict has been handed down. But this court owes this witness an apology for wrongly accusing her yesterday. Objection! Correction, you owe her an apology. You're the one who accused her. Objection! And you agreed with me. It still doesn't change the fact my verdict has been delivered, Mr. Wright. Apologies don't condone withdrawing my verdict. I beg you, Your Honor. Our duty is to hear every piece of testimony and exhaust every piece of evidence before giving a proper verdict. Handing down one now while there's still a witness willing to testify would be premature. It's important, Mr. Honor. I, 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 think, I think it is. Hmm. I can't believe you're actually considering this. The trial is over! Please, Your Honor. This isn't just for me, but for justice itself. This testimony could very well change everything we know. Come on. Very well, Mr. Wright. I'll let her testify. Yes! What? I'll allow this witness to testify, but please do note this does not change my ruling. The defendant is still to be considered guilty. Any straying off topic or the slightest indication this proves to be pointless, I will end the trial on the spot, no ifs, ands, or buts. Understand? I understand, Your Honor. Thank you. This is outrageous! She's guilty, guilty, guilty! There's no turning back now. We have to end this trial today. A guilty verdict is looming over Rainbow Dash's head right now. In other words, we can't extend the trial again even with the three-day rule in place. A final verdict will be given by the end of today. Witness, you may give this important testimony you wanted to share. All right, Mr. Honor. As you already know, I was watching the forest all night long. I had just seen Rainbow Dash fly overhead. That's when I saw it. In the corner of my eye, I saw a pony trotting towards Ponyville, a little ways from my house. But the 
isn't, I think this is important now. I saw her carrying that stick Mr. Phoenix has. I don't remember what the pony looked like because it was too dark and I only looked for a second. Then I just continued watching the forest after that. You, you saw someone carrying that stick on the night of the murder? Yes, I could tell by the leather P on the end. Why didn't you say anything about this before? I had no idea the stick had anything to do with all this. It was just a stick after all. But what does this mean? I intend to find that out. Your Honor, may I? <clears throat> uh, yes, Mr. Wright. Uh, remember my warning, though. Yes, Your Honor. She saw a pony carrying that stick? That means that pony who was carrying it could potentially be another suspect. Exactly. But this isn't going to be easy. Fluttershy claims she forgot what they looked like. Not to mention that warning you have. Please, Fluttershy, don't let me down. As you already know, I was watching the forest all night long. I had just seen Rainbow Dash fly overhead. That's when I saw it. In the corner of my eye, I saw a pony trotting towards Ponyville, a little ways from my house. But the reason I think this is important now, I saw her carrying that stick Mr. Phoenix has. I don't remember what the pony looked like because it was too dark and I only looked for a second. Hold it! I'm gonna cut right to the chase, Fluttershy. Are you sure you can't give us an accurate description of this pony? The only thing I can remember was she was probably female because of her size. Female? That's not enough. What about her colors or cutie mark? Were you able to see those? Her coat and mane were dark colors. I couldn't make out what colors they were exactly since it was nighttime. And the cutie mark? I couldn't see it. It was too dark. A gender and dark colors are not sufficient enough information to pull some pony in here. It could be any pony. No! The judge looks like he's gonna end the trial! I've gotta think of something! Fluttershy, please, you have to try hard and remember what she looked like! I'm trying, Mr. Phoenix! I'm trying! Ah. <sighs> okay. Time for a different approach. How was she holding the stick? Holding the stick? She was holding it in her mouth. Which I thought was strange. How is that strange? A lot of ponies carry things in their mouth. Because she was a unicorn. And they used their horns to carry things. The pony you saw was a unicorn? Yes, that's right. I almost missed seeing the horn. How did you almost miss it? It was really dark out, and the unicorn was dark colored, and so I wouldn't have been able to see the horn if there hadn't been- OH! <laughs> Mr. Honor, can I add something? I if that's okay? <gasps> sure! What did she see? The moonlight was reflecting off the unicorn's glasses. And that's how I can make out her horn. Hold it! She had glasses? Yeah, that's how I was able to see her horn. It was also how I was able to make out the stick she was carrying. Female, dark colors, unicorn, and glasses. That can only mean one thing. Thank you, Fluttershy. I can take it from here. What? Mr. Wright? I know who this mysterious pony Fluttershy saw is now. You do? I can't think of any ponies in Ponyville with dark colors who wear glasses. That's why I know who this is. Who? The description Fluttershy is given matches this pony in every aspect. Sonata. Sonata? Who's that? It's the victim's manager. She's female, has dark colors, a unicorn, and wears glasses. Twilight Sparkle just said there's no pony in Ponyville who meets that description. Which makes sense as Sonata isn't from Ponyville. She's only staying here for the Equestrian 500, being the victim's manager. 
Miss Trixie, are you able to get this sonata in here? What? But I thought you gave the verdict already. My guilty verdict still stands. I would like to hear Sonata's explanation about this, though. <laughs> she is in the gallery right now. If you truly desire it, I can gather her. But remember, Your Honor, this same witness on the stand right now has a giant hole in her original testimony. Perhaps you can reconsider? Please just get Miss Sonata for me. Ah, fine. Looks like you did it again, Mr. Wrong. That's what you are. Wrong, wrong, wrong. You're planning on accusing her, aren't you? That's the only way you can get out of this. I would just love to see you try and do that. She's a unicorn, not a pegasus. There is no way she could have killed him. You'd be surprised, Trixie, how crafty murderers can get given situations and opportunities. We'll take a short 15-minute recess while Miss Trixie gathers this manager. I don't believe this. I was so close. Ah, that was too close. In fact, it still is close. You're considered guilty right now. Ugh, I I'm sorry, I didn't mean... Uh, I mean, I know you're not guilty, but you had the verdict handed down on you and I have to convince everyone you're not in... Phoenix. Ah, uh, sorry. I know I've said this a million times, but I'm gonna make sure you get out of this. It's just gonna be a little harder now. Who am I kidding? It's gonna be a lot harder! You gonna be okay, Rainbow? I know you're upset about what happened to Gilda, but it had to be done. It's alright. It's not like she's going to be in there forever, right? What, did you think I'd be crying about it or something? I thought you'd be crying a long time ago, to be honest. I'm actually surprised you were in such a content state when I first met you, in spite of all this misfortune you've been through. You must be made of some really tough stuff to keep your spirit up in this dark hour. I don't work with tears. Blubbering like a little baby never helped any pony. You're right. There's no need for crying now anyway. Because this next witness, she had to have done it. Somehow. I'd like to know more about this Sonata. I had my suspicions about her before that cruise control character came along. I believe I actually saw her yesterday. She didn't tell me much, but I know she was blackmailing a lot of the racers. And she's kind of blackmailing me right now. Oh, I see. Wait! She's blackmailing you? It's another reason I didn't want to bring up the blackmail on Rainbow Dash. Because she told me to keep my mouth closed about it. What exactly is she blackmailing you with? A funny story. Pinkie Pie and I sort of, uh, broke into her hotel room. And if I say anything about the blackmail, she'll have me arrested where I can't defend Rainbow Dash. Dad! Why would you do something clearly illegal like that? You're a lawyer for crying out loud. Don't look at me! She's the one who stole the key and gave it to me! <laughs> I need to know, Twilight, since you're so experienced with magic and all. Yes? I have to find a way to pin this on Sonata. Is there any spell that can electrocute another to death? There is. It's forbidden arcane magic, but there's no way she could know something like that. There isn't a piece of literature in this day and age that will teach you spells like that. Nor could modern unicorn folk master them. There are some spells to conjure and release artificial electricity, but even I wouldn't have enough magic power to make that lethal. Especially to an athlete in his prime. Well, there goes that theory. She's probably gonna rat me out about the hotel right off the bat for putting her on the stand like this. So, Twilight, I may need you to take over if they arrest me. But, but I can't do that! You just try to find the truth and- No, you don't understand. I can't. I had Spike cancel the appeal to appoint me as Rainbow Dash's lawyer. Even if I wanted to, I wouldn't be allowed to. Uh, can't anything look good for us right now? You know what I think you should do? What? I'm running out of options here. Wing it. You said you do it all the time, right? Can I say stick to what you know? I think you're right. My intuition is telling me Sonata is responsible for his death somehow. And if I'm right, she'll tell lies and half-truths in her testimony. That's when you can get her. There is also another thing about Sonata. Something a little more personal. What is that? She's a dead ringer for someone I know. But I thought this is your first time in Equestria. Oh, no, no, no. She looks like a... 
phony version of her. I didn't know what to think of it. I thought someone may have been channeling her, or she was reincarnated, or... I don't know. Well, does she act like this person you know? No, she doesn't. Mia would never blackmail or murder. She may have the looks, but when it comes down to it, Sonata is the complete opposite of her. Then don't worry about it. It's not her, so don't be afraid to go all out on her. Go off that. You have to believe in him. It's your job to. Cast all that doubt aside and pursue that truth. If you do that, nothing can stop you. Right. Thanks, Twilight. The trial will reconvene in two minutes. I am to ask the defense to make their way to the courtroom immediately. All right. Here goes. Consider yourself free, Rainbow Dash, because I intend to make the real culprit pay for her crimes. I'm really pulling for you. I was given one more chance. One more chance to find the truth. It's either sink or swim. Even if she tries to have me arrested for my intrusion, I got her on the stand. It doesn't matter anymore. It's time she pays her dues for all she's done, including the murder. Because unlike everyone else, I know.